So I've set up a little test project here and we're just going to go through it quickly to show you the end result of what you can do. And if you see this and it shows up and it does not have it, it's because you've reviewed, reviewed it previously. Just click on custom study and go down here and click on review and it's going to say review one day ahead. And click OK. And now you have your study now button. So we're going to click study now or you can hit your space bar and watch. I'm going to use my space bar here. Now I'm not an anatomy student so I'm not even going to try and guess these but I'm going to show you. You know, It's got the one in red it wants you to guess at and then you click space bar it gives you an answer. Click it again, space bar again it gives you the answer so forth and so on now let's say you get done uh, with this you can click on rebuild and then of course study now and you go through it all again now as you get the answers as you're answering them look down here you'll see hard good easy this will tell Anki how you're progressing and we'll you can do this on all your decks. It will sort out a method where it will show you those things that are hard for you a little more, those things that are easy for you a little less, those things that are good, like in between. It, it'll mix it up. It learns it learns your speed of learning. So that's what you do. So we're just going to click and we're done with that. That is the end result of what I want to show you. Now I have a little project uh, that I'm going to do. I'm going to set up for myself. I'm learning Keone Greek which is the language that the New Testament of the Bible was written in. So I have a little project. And this is also to show you how uh, using images can be a great time saver rather than typing out and creating individual flashcards. So now to get the image occlusion uh, functionality in Anki, you have to download a plugin. Now there is a companion site where a bunch of plugins are located at for Anki. And this is the page. And in order to get this plugin, we need to go get this uh, code here at the bottom. This one right here. And we will need to open up our Anki. Go to Tools, Add ons. And then click Get on Add ons. Get Add ons. Paste your code in there. Click OK. And it will begin to download it. And once you download it, you need to restart Anki. And when you open it back up, and you go to click Add, you will see this. This is going to be brand new. You didn't have this little button here before and this is the button that we're going to be working with to use images to create flashcards or, or a better way to say is actually create a test for us and it's also a great time saver and we're going to get into this as I said uh, in the beginning of the video I have a little project I want to do for myself to help me to learn Keone Greek and I'm at a part right now where I need to learn about diphthongs and how they're pronounced and just part of the Keone Greek stuff. I'm not going to get into all that. So I'm going to create me a deck and it's going to be called diphthongs. So I'll go ahead and create that deck and then I'm going to add to that deck diphthongs we'll choose it and then you see here I got my new image occlusion button here so I'm going to go get me the image that I want and we have this little button right here this little rectangular thing that's what I'm going to be using so I'm just going to make sure I clicked on that and these two particular Greek letters make a particular uh, sound so I want to go ahead and hide that one. And I'm going to do this with all of them. I don't care about the Greek spelling right now. I just want to know, know what the sound is. So that's the only part of this we're going to do. This one, this one. All 
All right, now that I have them all hidden here, down here below I have the ability to, to tell Anki how do I want this testing to occur? Do I want Anki to hide them all like I showed originally and just show one at a time? The, the red highlighted one is the one that's wanting me to guess at. Or do, or do I want it to hide one or guess one? What I've already showed you is to hide, hide them all and guess one. So we're going to do this one. For this one, we're going to do hide one, guess one. So we're going to click that. And then we're going to close this out. And then before I do anything, I want to go to browse. I'm going to go ahead and close that out. I want to go to browse. And I want to find that deck. And I want to go here and give this deck a, a title. And then I'm going to close it out so that way I can find it uh, quickly and it'll be labeled when I open up my test. So now I'm going to close that out. Go here and click diphthongs. And then I'm going to study now. I'm going to... And you'll notice it's hiding one and it's wanting me to guess what those two letters are. And if I press the space bar and then press it again, it'll do it again. Now for this particular one, hide them all would probably have been better. but I showed the hide all originally. That's what it looks like. I just wanted to show you what the hide one looks like now. And again, I could say hard, good, and easy. Tell Anki how I'm progressing, and it will dec decide to show things in a different order. And once I go through it all, and then I'm going to go back to my decks. And I'll go to diphthongs. If I want to review it again, and I, I went back to my deck, picked the deck, and this is what's showing up. I'll go to custom study, review ahead by one day, and click OK. And now I got my study now button here. And while you're in it, if before you get to the end like I just did, you can always click on rebuild and it will start over. Every time you hit rebuild, it will start over. It's, it's like I don't know why they named it rebuild they should put start over and that will do it so we can get back in there and again we're here and if I'm stuck on an answer I can click again and it will go over that again so that's how you can use you can copy copy and save images bring them into Anki and use this method rather than typing everything else it saves you a lot of time and it's also a great way to test yourself now, if this has helped, how about leaving a like, comment, subscribe. Let somebody know about this channel, and you have a good day.